Hi, today we'll discuss about the speed, distance and time. This is a very interesting chapter. I'll start with the thing. We generally know that speed distance is speed into time. We are familiar with that. Distance is covered is speed into time. Or I can say speed is distance upon time. Now if I take the particular cases over here, let's say if D is constant, that is in certain case, if distance is constant, then I say speed is 1 upon proportional, inversely proportional to time. Inversely proportional means whenever I increase the speed, time will decrease or whenever I decrease the speed, time will increase but in the case when D is constant. Second thing, if I say time is constant, T is constant, then if T is constant, then S and D are the variable. S is equal to D upon something which is constant. Therefore, when speed is increased, D will also increase. Or when speed is decreased, D will decrease. That means speed is directly proportional to distance. Right? Now, if I say, if speed is constant, if, if speed is constant, then again D is increased. Distance is increased, time will increase because speed is constant. And when distance is decreased, time will also decrease. Because speed is constant. Now I can say again D is directly proportional to T. Means this proportionality sign means as the D increase, T will increase, D decrease, T decrease. So I get the three relationship here depending on the parameters. In total, distance equals to speed into time or speed equal to distance upon time. I have three parameters speed, distance, and time. I have considered three cases in which one of the 3 is constant and the relationship between the other 2, how it increase or decrease depending on that. Now let's take the example to understand this question. Say a person, let me, let me explain your problem. Two friends, friends P and Q, there are the two friends P and Q standing, there are two friends P and Q are at a distance, some distance. P fired a bullet at the interval of 12 minutes. B fired a bullet at the interval of 12 minutes. Means we have P have fired two bullets at the interval of 12 minutes and Q heard the sound at the interval of 11.5 minutes. It means P have fired the two bullets and P have fired two bullets with the interval of 12 minutes and Q have heard the same sound in the interval of 11.5 minutes. Now the question is what is the ratio of what is the ratio of speed of sound sound to speed of Q? Now, the question is that we have to find the speed of sound to the speed of Q. So the thing is, P is here. We fire the bullet, let's say T equal to 0. Let's see, take the point Q here. At T equal to, say, T dash, after some time, it hurts the sound of the bullet. Now, at T equal to 12, again it sounds fired a bullet. Obviously Q is not here and it's obvious it's moving towards the P because it hurts the sound in less time. It hurts sound in less time that is 11.5. So it must be coming closer to the P. So we have inference that the P Q is coming closer to the P. Now let's say it comes here and heard the sound. Say T equal to T dash plus 11.5. It's P Q come from the Q to R. Right? Now, now there are several ways to do, do the calculations. Now, let me do the calculation another way. The concept we have understood right now. T equal to 0, T equal to 2, plus T equal to T dash and T equal to T dash plus L. Now, person that Q is traveled from Q to R. Travel from Q to R. Time taken from traveling from Q to R is T dash, T dash plus 11.5 minus T dash. That is 11.5. It took time 11.5 minutes in traveling Q to R. Now, this is, a, this is the, you can say it's travel with a certain speed and took the time 11.5. Now, meanwhile, sound is also traveling. So, time travel, so at t equal to t dash plus 12, sound must have reached q because at t dash was here and at t equal to 12, t dash plus 12, sound must be here. At, that means at t equal to 11.5, sound and the person are meets here, right? 
So I can say in 11, t dash plus 11.5 and t dash plus 12, the difference with the time sound has traveled the distance r to q. The sound has traveled the distance from r to q because sound will reach exactly t dash plus 12 here. Its time is 0 0.5, right? Now I got the I got the here is q r and r q are the equal. That means the distances are the same. So if the distances are the same, same, then speed r inversely proportional to the time. So I can say speed of sound upon speed of q is inversely proportional to the time. So let me take the inverse proportion. That is 11.5 upon 0 0.5. That is 23 is to 1. So this is the better way to solve the problem. That means if you find the distance same, just compare it and get the answer. Next thing is, next thing is in this chapter is about average speed. Now, let me be very clear here. Average speed is total distance travel, total distance travel upon total time. Right? Whatever is the total time distance traveled by a person upon total time taken is the average speed. But let me give a one good example here. If a person travels from point A to B with the speed of A, the distance between A B is constant, with the speed of A and moves back the speed of b what is the average speed now here maximum time the students take the average speed as a plus b by 2 this is wrong right the right answer here is 2 a b upon a plus b now think about it how it comes let me explain you 2 a b upon a plus b how it comes let's assume the total distance here is d time travel let us assume the distance d, d here Total distance travel that is for moving from A to B then B to A that is total distance travel is 2D upon total time taken. Now total time taken here is total time taken here is time taken from moving from A to B is for D upon A. Time taken from moving from B to A is D upon B. Now if I solve this, this comes out to be 2AB upon A plus. So the average speed when the distance is constant is 2AB upon A plus B. If you are in the higher classes, it means says the harmonic means between the speeds. Or you can drive the conclusions if you know about the harmonic means. If you, a person or a, a taxi or a car, anything is moving, covering the same equal distances with the different different speeds, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, then the average speed of the those things is harmonic mean of the speeds of A, B, C, D, E, G. So this is the concept. Next important thing here is relative motion or relative speed and what is the relative speed here a person say here is p and the person say here is q if the person say the distance between this p and q is say 300 if the person p has a speed 15 meter per second and q has a speed 5 meter per second then the question is p is moving towards q and q is moving towards p then what is the time interval time in which they will beat. So the answer for this question is 300 upon the speed is of P plus speed of Q. Now think how I get this. Let me explain this. Let me explain this. The answer here is 300 upon 20 that is 30 that is 50. After 50 seconds they will meet. Now it's very important to understand how it came here. How why we added the speed for the P and Q and upon the distance. I have calculated the meaning of this statement is time is distance upon speed. Distance is 300 and I have added the for the speed. Why I added the for the speed? Let me give an Let me explain it. Let's say after one second, after one second, P moves 15 meter because the speed is 15 meter per second. P moves 15. and Q moves 5 meter. Right now. The distance remaining here is 300 minus 50 minus as well as minus 5. That is 300 minus 20. 300 minus 20 is 280. Right? So, in one second, the distance left between them is 280. Right? That is, in one second, distance covered is 20. Right? Or 20 meter is covered in one second. Then 300 meter covered in 1 upon 20 into 300 that is 15 seconds. So here the answer is same. I hope you got it right now. 
if I say P and Q. The distance again, I, let me take distance again as a 300 meter. Problem is same. But in this case, Q is moving away from the P with the speed of 5 meter per second. And P is moving with the speed of 15 meter per second. Now again, if I, if I ask you, what is the time of the meeting? So, here the answer is 300 upon 15 minus 5. That is 30 seconds. Now, how it comes? It's important to understand. Again, I'll let, I take the example of 1 second. In 1 second, P moves 15 meter and Q again moves 5 meter, right? In 1 second, the speed is 15 meter per second, 15 meter, its speed is 5 meter per second, distance is 5 meter. Now, the distance left now is, the distance this is 300 minus 50, the distance this distance is 300 minus 50, that is 285 plus 5, that means the distance is 290. So, in 1 second, distance Travelled is 300 minus 290. The remaining distance is 290 and actual distance was 300 is 10. So in 10 meter, this distance covered in 1 second, 300 meter is covered in 1 upon 10 into 300. That is 30 seconds. So the answer is again same. So this is the thing. Whenever the two bodies are approaching towards each other, we subtract it. We add the speed and whenever the two bodies moving from each other, we subtract the speed. This is the concept of relative speed. Thank you for the now. Wait for the another part of this video. Thank you.